does perfect even me? Is there even such a thing? Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me. We'll start away for our 2 p.m. session. Welcome to Harcourt's Four Seasons and Harcourt's Vision Auction Rooms today. You can see we've got nine up. We've split them into two sections just so we can have people here, not for too long a period. We wish you well in the bidding today. My name's Mark and I'm auctioneer for some of them. We've got a, a senior auctioneer, senior in years only, Phil McGold, who's going to come and do, so, do an auction later, number one at number seven there. So we'll look forward to seeing Phil in action when he comes along to do his thing. Anyway, I'm going to do eight of them. I'm pretty proud of that. I'd like to thank our owners that we represent today. In each and every case for the properties that I've inspected this week and last weekend, man, the presentation's been outstanding. So I do commend our good owners on that. They've, um, they've got all that information and documentation they've given to their Harcourts Four Seasons and Harcourts Vision Sales Consultants just to make it easy for you to make a big decision in the room today. And, that's why we come to auction. We do all the work for you, so nice and simple for you to get in a position to bid. Thanks for those who are joining us on harcourtsauctions.co.nz, watching our online stream. And if you ever are hard at work at your desk at the office, two o'clock on a Wednesday, you might think, oh, I might just have a wee look at the auctions, keep, keep abreast of the market, and good on you. If you do watch an auction or two, you'll know our procedure for auctions. If it's your first time in the auction room, then just bear with me as I run through our co code of conduct. Don't worry about reading that, that's in legalese. I'll just give it to you in everyday layman speak. Confidential reserves are being posted. I'm going to invite you to start the bidding for each of the auctions. You get into it, you can dictate terms at that point, knowing that I can refuse cheeky bids, of course. But you start away, your jobs to bid to that reserve will go past it and prevail as the highest bidder, obviously, uh, to win the auction. Um, if you are, then we'll bring the hammer down and declare you the winner. If we don't reach the reserve in the initial bidding, we don't panic and we don't finish the auction either. We just pause the auction. And we'll have a conversation out in the main lounge among the golfers and um, offer you the chance to become the owner during the auction forum. That exclusivity of opportunity, of course, that you enjoy, knowing that if properties are passed in, they're made available to everybody in the marketplace. Those conditional buyers, those 500 or so people watching online that we normally get each week, they're waiting with bated breath to see if they can have their opportunity. Well, don't let them. You just get your highest bid at all times. If you're the highest bidder, sometimes during that negotiation, it can be the case the owner decides to agree to sell it to you in that, and outside of the room and withdraw it from the auction floor. If you're not the highest bidder but you're still keen on the property, that can be disappointing. So just be wary of that, clause 2.6. Owner can withdraw the property at any time before it's sold and without declaring the reserve. So that can be a disappointing experience, I assure you. 
You may hear me placing vendor bids today. That's uh, a bit on behalf of the owner saying, hey, look, we're going to hold the property at this level. You've got a bit of it stronger if you want to own it. We only place vendor bids well below the reserve price and make it very clear if we're doing so. Uh, and we often place a vendor bid just to keep the auction going. We'll get it started. If the team from Harcourts are bidding for buyers, that's often the case. If they're working with phone bidders, I'll identify those people to you so you know what you're dealing with. I can nominate the bidding increments, the size of the bids. I will work with your bidding strategy. No limits placed on you. Um, and like I say, the cheeky bids, I, I can knock those back, but I'd always do that respectfully. So I will just explain what happens when the hammer falls. It's a good news. You generally get a nice clap and a round of applause, but then uh, you get a writing instrument to sign the agreement. Uh, a deposit slip that shows the trust account for the deposit, and that's just 10% of the purchase price. If you've arranged a different amount, that's okay too, but it would have to go through the sales consultant at that point. We've got a copy of the REA approved buyer's guide and you're good to go. That's how simple it is here in the auction room. So we can move on into our program. First and foremost, well, Taunton Green, number 12. I haven't been lucky enough to go into Taunton Green on too many occasions, but it is a special, special spot. I think those who are looking for, for luxury, um, for a little bit of pri privacy and exclusivity, this is a great spot. You don't have to come out to the Clearwaters or everything. It's a great inner city sanctum full of luxury homes. This is no exception at 12 Taunton Green. Geoffrey Twist is the man who's been tasked with the campaign and he's done a marvellous job making everything available to you, getting people through. Uh, the presentation has to be noted as very exceptional as well throughout the home and credit to the vendors for that. Hey, will you just take a look? You know you're dealing with something special here. It's on 2,054 square metres too. Now, I think it's over 500 square metres of home too, Jeff, isn't it? Lot 7 deposit plan 309585 in the Canterbury Land Registry. 10th of May is the settlement date, so that's, that's a good opportunity for you to get affairs in order. I just checked the chattel list that Rachel would have finalised for me. Um, the built-in barbecue stays, smeg fridge as well, solar panels up top. Um, the sauna is remaining with the property and the robotic pool cleaner, non-human, I might say, stays with the property as well for that beautiful indoor pool, of course. That's what the solar panels are all about as well. Well, it's a very, it's a very luxurious home, but I think it does achieve that luxury with a great deal of livability and practicality. No pretense about the home. It's just spacious. It's lovely. It sprawls out on that half-acre site. Glorious entranceway too, that, that just makes your first impression strong, but they are upheld as you walk through the living spaces of the home. It flows, it's gorgeous, it's got superior outdoor living and a beautiful unimpeded northwest aspect. I saw the goalposts that were there, the soccer goals in place, and you've got a good half field there for the kids to enjoy. Of course, when all those doors, I think I counted half a dozen sliders on the warmer days when they all slid back, the pools in use, the kids are going from spa into the, into the pool and back again and the parents are enjoying a barbecue, well, that's, that's what living is all about. Lovely central kitchen breakfast bar situation. You know your friends and family are going to gather to that, like bees to a honey pot. Upstairs accommodation is awesome. Two bedrooms and a bathroom downstairs, of course, three bathrooms and all. Um, but the master suite is fantastic with your balcony. If you need to just get away a bit of peace and quiet from the family, then that's the spot to overlook your domain and preside over it. Triple car garaging as well seals it. You're at the bottom of the cul-de-sac. You've got a reserve on your on your southern border as well. So it is a special, special spot. Lots of heart, lots of character, lots of authenticity here in Taunton Green. How about you start taunting your opposition with a nice, strong and obfuscious opening bid? What are we saying to start? We don't get them very often in Taunton Green. It's time to seize the reins, take advantage. Jeff, I see the phones to your ear. I was hoping you might start in the mid twos. I don't mind if we started at 2.4. Or stronger, if that's the case, might be a good strategy here and now. Number 12. What about two dozen to start? 2.4. Vendor bid to start. You've had your chance. I'm going to go there on behalf of the owner. Now I want 100 on top of that. And 2,400,000. Replacement cost would bring a tear to your eye. First chance, master suites an absolute sanctuary. Second call, indoor pool. It's a great asset. Third call, the aspect of the home, the site, the privacy is exceptional. 
within that Paparoa Street school community as well, not far from St Andrews. It's where our listing agent was educated. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to 25, Jeffrey, and I put your buyer on notice. That's a vendor bid as well. Sir, a scratch of the head. Welcome in, 26. <laughs> hey, look, just having you on. 2.5. That's the vendor bid. I'll work with a 50. Can't be fairer than that. We're exclusive enclave of homes, as we all know. First chance. 2,054 square metres over 500 square metres of home. Second call, with extendability as well, not that you would need it. Third chance, Jeff, I'm going to give you one chance to bid, otherwise I'm, I'm passing it back to you and you can go to that next stage. No bid today? Okay, well that's fine, we'll just work with everybody now. I'm going to put it back at a vendor bid at 2.7. We're quite comfortable, the value's about, uh, above that figure, so we'll just carry on working for these good people. 2.7 million passed in on a vendor bid, your opportunity's there and now. You need to go and have a look. It's a special proposition. Jeffrey Twist is the man to speak to. Well, we're underway. We can get just to, I didn't introduce you to Rachel, who would have greeted you on the way in. Greg Roberts is representing the management team with Aaron Johnson from Vision and also James Twist here today. Jessica's running the technology for the stream, displacing Jeremy, which is, which is good. Jeremy, you'll be a bit disappointed about that. Well, we're going to West Melton now, Texel Crescent, so opulent luxury living again, but this on the brand new scale. So we had the established before, but now we, uh, we bring you this high high-end, modern luxury family home. It's built by gem builders, they're masters. We love um, representing them in their work. They stand behind their, their work in every step of the way, proudly do so. Um, really love what they do. They've chosen Jan Green and Ross Mitchell to represent them. Jan, of course, well, she's a gem as well. She stands in front of her clients and backs them up. Ross Mitchell, we say he's the old master. No one knows more about the property game than Mr Mitchell, I don't think. So great to have the team here from our Lincoln office at Texel Crescent. Let's take a look at the finer details. It's a freehold estate, 1,212 square metres, good size section. Um, so over that quarter acre. The legal description is, is uh, exact. I did want to touch on not just the standard chattels, but the bonus chattels, including ducted and zoned heating and cooling throughout the house. The irrigation system through the gardens, you, you can't do better than that. Pioneer surround sound and lounge, master bedroom and under the portico for your outdoor living. So that's, that's a sophisticated solution. Under tile heating in the kitchen and ensuite, of course. And the attic ladder, plenty of storage above, above that very, very large garaging space that we'll touch on in just a moment. The 28th of March is the settlement date, so pretty much uh, immediate possession, which I think will appeal to you. In fact, you might be in, that's just before Easter, I think, isn't it? might snick in on Easter Thursday, how good would that be? Well I think when a building inspector goes through a house and said that's the best newest build that I have seen, then uh, I think you take a great deal of confidence in that, and that, that you can, because this is a proven model, this is not a one-off thing, this home has been created through a series of iterations of improvements and refinements, continuous innovation and continuous improvement, it's a wonderful layout, it's beautifully specified, the execution is superb. That lavish living that you enjoy with the high ceilings, gallery ceilings that just flows through, dual living situation with the main body family room and the separate lounge or adults room as I like to call it. The kitchen area breakfast bar scullery uh, is designed with the best of breed in mind and you know that's where friends and family will gather um, whether you like it or not so you've got the ideal space for that. Through the accommodation, well, there's luxury through that. You've got the de designated office as well. Four-car garaging in this one. Office space as well. The lighting and heating solutions, the technology in the home, the quality of the flooring, the finish throughout the home is exceptional. You've got the extra garden planters with this home. There's a plenty of exposed aggr aggregate concrete, plenty of room for the toys as well. But if you're entertaining, you've got a larger extended family there, you know you're going to be just enjoying your best life. In fact, I bumped into one of our purchasers who's purchased a similar home in West Melton. They said they're enjoying it very, very much, never want to leave, nor will you. 
Let's start away in the bidding here. We're in West Melton. We've got a brand new build. It's a stunner. A million two seventy five. You see, that's bidding strategy. That's not a contrived number. I'll take one, two, and three quarters with you, Jan, on the telephone, working with the buyer at a million two seventy five. What are we saying from here? I don't mind if you round me up to one three. You might like to be stronger. One two seventy five. First chance. What are we saying? Second call. Have we got some competition for Jan's bidder? Third chance. One two and seventy five. Not just at the moment, Jan. So I'm in a vendor bid against you at one three. I'm quite comfortable to do so but I'm not only going to use the one vendor bid. At 1.3 million, do I have a bid to chime in now? One, three, two, five, up a quarter for me. One and three eighths of a million, as we say. At one, three and 25. Not quite that figure, Mike. That's 375, isn't it? One, three, two, five. That's the bid to beat. Do I hear one, three, fifty? First chance. One, three, forty. One, three, forty, sir. Slide little 15, we'll take that one, put it on top. At a million three forty, you won't find better. One three forty is the bit to beat, Jan. Live bit in front of you. At one three forty. One three forty. I need to talk to you on the phone now. <laughs> At a million three forty. Bids with you, sir. First call, and I promised I'm not vendor bidding as well. Twice. One three five five. Matching your fifteen, sir, and up we go. At one three and double five. At a million three fifty five. I don't mind staying in the increment. We call it a Commodore in the business, the old fifteen. Fiver being the Lady Godiva, three times the Lady, Lionel Richie, get it, Commodore. One three and fifty five, do I hear seventy? Back to the serious business. Four car garaging. You should be bidding at this level on that basis alone. One three fifty five. First call. Second call, third and final call. What are we saying? Is it straight to one four? One three six. One three six. Just the one good over there. But one, one three. three Fair enough. One three sixty seven puts up the Richie McCall for me. Wouldn't we kill for another one like that? One three and six seven. Just. Disrespectful to Tom Christie. 1, 3 and 67, 33 from the 1, 4. What are we going to say? First call, second chance. Loving these different numbers. One's probably not in your best interest. I'll count it if you want me to. Jan will pounce on that. Just the 1,000. Staying with the sevens, okie dokes, one, three, three quarters. Now I can say one and three eighths of a million. One, three and seven, five. One and three eighths. One, three and seven, five. I think we've seen the ones are ineffective. One, three, seven, five. How do you value it down to that? One, three, seven, five. Gorgeous joinery, sliders, indoor, outdoor connections. Are one, three, eight. One, three, eighty. Appreciate 1380. 1380. It's a public forum, Jan, we don't mind. At a million, 380. It's a 10. It's not racing away from you, sir. It's not racing away. 1.39 only at this stage. Like I say, if you're starting from scratch on a 1200 plus square metre section, with a luxury home like this, we're only just scratching the surface. One three ninety. Yep. Having some good fun at Texel, Gym Builders. Yep. Take huge confidence. A million three ninety. I can see the white towel being reached for. No, series back. Ah, uh, good, you're going to ask for forgiveness later rather than permission. Good stuff. You'd say the 1 4, I would, I would recommend you do that at least. At 1 4, that might be the limit. Why wouldn't you give it a go? A million 390. You're doing so well. At a million 390,000. All there for all to see. 
portico living under the shade in the sun. Be a lucky day. A million three ninety. Give this man a good chance. He's worked hard. One three ninety. Ask Tarsal whether she thinks it's good value. <laughs> Give you a few seconds. Pop on a wee team. Pop on the Richie Moanga. One three ninety Jan, you lead. But we're not at a level I can sell. So I just have to pause the auction. Doesn't mean the auction's over, you'll explain that to the good gentleman. I'm going to offer Jan's bit of the opportunity first, though, but we're the dreaded course 2.6. Yeah, it's a song. I don't want to miss a beat. And we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
<laughs> hey guys, uh, just bring your attention back to Texel Crescent, number three. Gorgeous home from Gem Builders. Had some good bidding, but Jan's bidder on the telephone was a little bit stronger. His name is James, and he said, Look, I'll give you a million four hundred and ten, but only if you withdraw it and sell it to me. So that's what our owners have decided to do. A million four hundred and ten thousand. Another great job, Eddie Mark, Julie. So, well done. Good effort, Jan and Ross, the dynamic duo, good on, good on you too. Stewie Jones, we're up. Stu Jones from our Rolleston office, we're moving straight along in our programme. We're representing our good team, Amy and Bob. 65 Cool Spring Way in Redwood. Cool Redwood Springs, you know where we are. Super spot. At number 65, Cool Spring Way, freehold estate, superb family home in this outstanding family area. You know it's always popular. I think the big park and reserve is a big part of it, but also the pristine housing that surrounds you, the house proud nature of the, of the suburb, and also the proximity to good amenities that you enjoy when you're here. It's a freehold estate, as I say, at 806 square metres is a good size, and uh, lot 159, deposit plan 31. 8982 in that Canterbury Land Registry. We'll give you through to the 3rd of May, that's not too bad of terms, um, and that's the date that you take possession and move on in. I'm just checking that list, Stu. Ducted heat pump, yes, I want to touch on that a wee bit later as part of the chattels. Well, it's a swish and substantial family home, this one. It's got a good deal of contemporisation, but from the get-go, it's got that winning layout. 
I enjoyed hearing the story of how the Vindors fell in love with it, actually. They've got a young family. They moved back from Australia, and they just visited on one of those sunny open home days, and they could envisage with all the doors back from both living spaces, the master bedroom door open out to that central courtyard as well, right flowing up to the kitchen and the breakfast bar. They thought, I can see our kids having an easy lunch there, playing outside, unsupervised. We can keep an eye on them. They can frolic, and we can enjoy it to the best. Yes, they've grabbed it. They have enhanced it a little bit. They, they installed the, uh, the ducted heating aircon system. They'd had that before and thought, no, that, that's a cracking solution, so we'll get that again. They've done some, uh, some double glazing through the home as well, mainly on that south side and the bedrooms, which has been sensible. But hey, it's just worked so perfectly for them, and that's, they've had that, those dream weekends, those dream balmy evenings with the doors all open, everybody coming in and out. So it's a wonderful kitchen, breakfast, bar, dining area. You're connected to everybody if it's your social group or family that's gathering. Four bedrooms and two bathrooms. Uh, that's, that's the key, fully fenced, a great location. If it's more space they need, they're down to that big reserve. The kids can coodle down there on their own. It's a nice, safe place to be. Uh, the neighbours are all kind, but don't, don't get in, in front too much. So you're in a good community. And um, just those links to the arterial routes, they're, they're handy as well. Radio, well, it's ideal, hopefully for your family as well, and, uh, and you'll prove that by demonstrating it with your bidding to me now. So I'm um, asking you to start away 65 Cool Spring Way. Quite a cool name for a street too, I thought. How you been, Lauren? Nice to see that bundle in front of you. Suits families, this one. You start me away at 780, perhaps? Oh, timing. Timing's everything they say. Who chimes in at a late seven, surely? No problems at that level? Okay, well, I'll just simply bend or bid at 780, that's okay. Value's well north of that. We should uh, quell the nerves with an opening bid. Belinda, good to see you in the rooms. Vision teams in attendance. We've even got Kay today. That's not too bad. First call on the vendor bid at 780. Do I hear eight or better? Second call. Third chance. Cool spring way. Time to spring into action in Redwood Springs. 800 vendor bid on notice. Not placing any more. At eight. Do I hear 20 or a 10? First call, second. Final chance. Not taking their opportunity to talk with me, Stu. They want to talk with you, probably. They can talk with you about Cool Spring Way as long as their budget's in excess of 850, I think. So that'll be my final pass in. At 850,000, we're saying clearly not for sale with that figure. We know the value's above that. It's a coveted area, so you've got buyers in that situation from the Harcourts team, then you go out and get involved. If you're watching online, that's your chance to ring Stu Jones. He works from our Rolleston office, and he'll be delighted to hear from you. Who's been a regular fixture in our auction room in the last um, last six or seven weeks is Sam Bowen. He's working from our Lincoln office and um, having some great campaigns, Sam. We've had a good bit of fun here, and it's great that you uh, represent your client and friend at 49C Lakewood Drive in Burwood. So we do um, do send our regards to those vendors. It's been modernised. Modernised and move-in ready, I think, was your line, Sam, so I'll use that one again in this Burwood area. I love the Cape Cod-style home. Um, of course, full family proportions with the two bathrooms as well. Um, and it's just been taken right up there in terms of the level that it's at. It's a freehold estate. It sits on some 756 square metres and you're nicely tucked down in that section. It's an extremely private and secluded spot to be. The 3rd of May is your settlement date and uh, no change to that chattel list that Sam has distributed to you. 
you might see plenty of character homes around, and I'm, I'm perhaps one that still appreciates a good character home, but I really, really like them when they've been modernised to this level. And you can see where all the expensive work has been done. In fact, when our good owners moved in, it had enjoyed those renovations in kitchen, the all-important kitchen, beautiful fittings in the kitchen, isn't it, and in the bathrooms. But they've decided to go a step up again with putting uh, those lovely new drapes throughout the home, replacing the appliances in the home, and it gets the full double glazed treatment. So if comfort's your thing, if ambience is your thing, then you've got it worked out right here. That's what I mean by a bit of character, steepling ceilings in the upper level. Uh, with all that sun that, that spills into your backyard and on your deck, you know it's going to be fun. Again, it's a very secure section um, with plenty of lawn, bowling green flat for the whole family double garaging, pleasant open plan, contemporary decor, just with that bit of personality, but the modernisation has taken it to the AAA plus standard, I believe. Okie dokes, so what about starting away? You may have done your research, seen what our owners paid, they've made a significant investment since then. Their situational change means they are moving on. Even starting the late six, Sir Timey of a Master, just to kick us away. Is there a high six to go? I would have that. 680, beautifully modernised in Burwood. Sam Bowen would have made everything available to you, sir. You might say seven for me. I've just got 680 on that vendor bid. Seeking a cheeky 20 here at this stage. First call at that number, second call. I know your purposes are different. Third call at 680. Seven. Sammy, I can't see any jerky movements, twice spindle bit at seven, third, no, no hands up. Sam, I'm going to ask you to call out, we've been talking with our vendor, I think they've given us a market price that is very, very realistic, given what they've paid and what they've spent, how are we doing? 759000 market price, on the market to go, I think that's very, very fair, very, very sharp. Sam Bowen is the man you need to speak with. That's where the price is at. I would go and find that. I think that represents excellent value in a, in a very much appreciated area. Lakewood Terrace, it's pretty good. Price to 759. That one would be available to you. So I think we're going to take uh, our Harcourt's vision. Here's and put it on. No, no, we're acting like we're out Mike Brown, another man that's had several continuous weeks with auctions in the auction room. Thanks for the chance again. I recognise those good folk too, who are, who are moving in. Mike's from the Hornby office, but um, you'd think he live over there, on this northwest side of town. He's doing a heck of a lot of business, if not northward now in Kaipoi in the in the Sovereign Palms area. This is a beauty, Mike, and I think the meticulous, immaculate, pristine uh, standard of this home has to be commended by us um, for, for our sellers. Man, they've got it presented well. They've lived here for a number of years, but you wouldn't know it. It is very light and lived in. It's a tremendous footprint too. Gee, there's some lovely quality homes in Sovereign Palms. We are right at the head of that at number four, Sovereign Boulevard. Uh, on that freehold estate, some 738 square metres. Uh, the legal description's accurate. Just the HRV was the, was the chattel that stood out to me that, that goes through the home. 1st of May is the settlement date. We do have some flexibility in that regard, but that's the date that we would have you moving in otherwise. Now I went through with a microscope and I could not find one speck of dust, one anything out of place. It is really beautifully presented. It's got stunning street appeal, great lawn game at Sovereign Boulevard here, and um, just a, a nice street appeal with the home. Excellent entranceway. You can immediately tell that the home has been well cared for, well looked after. I asked Mike if they just have it like this for open homes, but no, they live like this all the time. Lovely big lounge at the front, that's very, very sunny. And a big family dining kitchen area as well, it's all open plan. Both those rooms spill out to the patio. And uh, on and shoes the accommodation, four bed, two bath configuration as well. They're really good sizes. Very large master en suite situation, that'd be it right there. It's got the outdoor egress also. It's an easy care section, so if, uh, if gardening's not quite your thing, you just, you'll just love living here. You can pay the teenager to mow the lawns. 
Um, if you want to start some, start some planting, it's all there for you. You'll love the community in here. Everybody looks after each other. Of course, the palms within Sovereign Palms, they are special. Great cafe uh, situation, just not far from you either. And uh, into the bustling hub of Kaiapoi, of course, is, is a cinch for you. Not too far from that, from that main drag if you're looking to get back into Christchurch. Well, Mikey, decent campaign in there. We've got a starter. Someone who might get underway. Someone who might have, say, I don't know, 800,000 just to start the ball rolling. A full-size family home. You think that was good value. Look, he's nodding in a cent. Is there an eight to start? as Wendy chuckles away. It's a vendor bid at eight, that's quite simple for me and, and no confusion that value rises above that figure. Will your arm rise at that figure? That's the question. I think a 20 is a reasonable bid to ask for. $800,000, lovely big well cared for, modern feeling home. Well appointed in the kitchen, bathrooms, a lovely big separate laundry, twice. It would average out to 12 minutes a weekend looking after your garden here. Third call at 8, I'll say 8.20, but it'll be my final offer to you to bid on top of that figure. First call, second, is there 30? Final, no, not bidding for me on this. Mike, I've got to leave it to you again. Pass it back. Look, I'm going to raise it to 8.90. I think I'm safe to do that. We know value is north of that figure. You just work with everybody in that third stage. And we'll go on and continue the fight. Good on you, Mike. And regards to the good folk. And now we go. Now we go to half of the Okay, Rachel. Right. We go to Colt Porter in Idaho. Again, if we're talking about presentation and, and care, this one stands out to me. A lot of extras done here. Aaron Johnson from Harcourt's Vision, business owner but but leading agent. Aaron, I think it's impressive the recent, the recent Harcourt's wash-up, client experience still very strong on a national level. It's an important metric, that one. And Cheryl and, and <laughs> Annette, you can take some credit for that too, I'm sure, Malcolm as well. Um, no, they really, really do it well and do it for all their clients. Um, of course, well known to our good clients and uh, former Vision employee, part of the family. So Lauren, great to see you here too. Seven Cold Porter Ave in Idaho on the other side of the park. You know where we are, it's a super spot. Uh, freehold estate, 726 squares, it's a good size. Uh, third of May is your settlement date, so not too long to wait. And you can move on in, because our mo owners are, are moving on to, to greener pastures, off on that exciting adventure, so we wish you very, very well. Well, I wasn't surprised to see the specification of this home, and just on the explanation that I got from our sellers was that the, the person who built it, one of those ones who said, we're going to stay here forever, and so they've just gone the extra mile, you can tell, just with the stonework at the front, the height of the stud, the amount of, of, the, of the kitchen joinery, the, 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 the uh, slider doors that are throughout the home, uh, the blinds and, uh, and curtains throughout the home are a really high spec, lots and lots of extras. There's a trinity of living spaces through the home and I think that's appreciable. But the wonderful thing about the home is even though it's in this urban situation, the rural outlook from the rear, you watch the horse paddock, very, very therapeutic. Aaron's been known to stand on the outdoor furniture chairs and have a wee look during the open homes. I noticed he, he owned up to me. It's soaked in sunshine. Uh, both those living rooms flank your kitchen breakfast bar area, walk-in pantry as well. The extra, the extra quality through the kitchen is evident. Subtle separation in the bathrooms. The master enjoys its own wing and outdoor access as well, as long as a nice deep walk-in robe and ensuite. Family guests down the other side, that's pleasing. Plenty of off-street parking as well as your double internal access garage with the attic storage as well. The parks across the way, that's going to get a lot of use from the youngsters and the family. And really quiet part of town. And, and the whole, the whole uh, population of houses in Coalport are really top drawer. Right, here to be sold, that is the key. Caravan's at the ready, so we better get our hand in the air. What are we saying? Where will we stay, say go? Where are we seeing value? We thought we'd just ask for a million, see if that would be a reasonable start. Thought that would be quite simple. Or stronger, don't let me limit you. You take the bit of dominion. 
Even better, Belinda Dunster from the Harcourts team bids away at 1.1. That's a good start. Hope that hasn't deterred you, sir. I would say a 50 might be a bid from here, but at 1.1, straight in front, down the middle, with Belinda from Harcourts bidding for her buyers. Like I say, it's built to be a forever home. It might be a forever home for you too. At 1.1, I think 1.150 would be an easy bid. Second call, third call, at the 1.1. Well, Belinda, I don't want to disrespect you with a vendor bid. If you're my only bidder, we can just have a chat in private and see if we can get you there. What do you say? OK, let's do that. We'll just pause the auction. I'll come and give you a chance.
just can't let you go Lord knows that I tried to You said I was the only one No one else being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Just bring your attention quickly back to Seven Cole Porter Ave. Working with great people. They're working with Belinda Dunstan from Harcourts. We paused at 1 1. Nick Kelly, Belinda can call out the number that we've reached after a good discussion. Who wants to do it? <laughs> Just a trivial thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got I think we've got You can't have the horse You can't have the horse but you can have the house In a million one hundred and eighty two five hundred Folks we say That we sell Seven Cole Porter Ave, take your last look A million one hundred and eighty two five hundred To these cool people, gone and sold out. So well done Another good one AJ, good man And uh, I'll leave it over to you, Phil I think you should call out the numbers and choose your three cost people a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> they're just going to keep the 500. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mark. Well done to both parties. Congratulations to you. We move into the three o'clock segment of the Harcourt's Four Seasons Auctions. My name's Phil McGoldrick, uh, brother, not father, of Mark McGoldrick, so great pleasure. <laughs> well, just to clear up something that sometimes gets very, very confused. Folks, I know that you've got everything you need to make good decisions in the auction room today. You'll have been given copies of contracts, titles and limbs. Your contract does explain to you how we work in the auction room today. The most important things are these. We sell subject to confidential reserve prices. The highest bidder subject to reaching that reserve will be the purchaser. If bidding doesn't reach our owner's reserve, as was the case last time, we adjourn. We talk with the highest bidder outside of the auction room. <laughs> Our purpose is to offer that highest bidder the opportunity of buying in the auction room. And can I say to you all, the best place and best time to buy is here in the auction room with us. If we don't reach an acceptable level, we pass the property back to the respective consultant. They then make it available to everyone in the marketplace, including those pesky conditional people that might make things more difficult for you. Owners, you can be, re be assured, are here to sell, so do your best work in the auction room with us. As auctioneers, we can place vendor bids, but we will identify those bids as vendor bids. We don't place those bids anywhere near an owner's reserve figure. If any of my colleagues from Harcourts place bids on behalf of their buyers, we will alert you to that as well. As auctioneers, we can nominate the sum by which your bids need to be raised. We place no limits on you. And if anyone made a bid that we thought, no, that wasn't really in the best interests of our sellers, we can and we will refuse such bids. A moment ago, you heard that. If your bid was the last bid before the hammer fell, yippee, we take you aside. You've won the battle. You sign the auction contract. You pay to the auctioneer a deposit, just 10% of that purchase price, and sign that you've received a copy of the, AA, no, of the REA buyer's guide. Not the AA. That's the meetings I go to some nights. No, not at all. Not at all. Anyway, Steve, you all feel a very good afternoon to you. Your owners aren't with us, but I'm sure they're online with us. I'd just like to say to them, great thank you for the opportunity. I went and spent quality time, enjoyed a coffee with them yesterday, so I wish them well as we offer on their behalf today, 43 East Field Drive. It is, as you would expect, a freehold property. It's a big, big parcel that I pass, 838 square metres, more or less. You move in, paying the balance on the, on the 26th of April, 2024. 
I'm not going through the chattel list. It's extensive, it's high quality, and it forms part of your purchase price. As I say, I spent an hour here yesterday, and I really got a chance to get the feel, the ambience, and what this property has got to offer. Our owners are clever property people. One of the best things they do is work with Aaron Jewell, great architectural designer. Everything he produces is a gem, and this is one of them. Great site, sits nicely back. For sun, you're totally unobstructed, you're well distanced from neighbours. It's the little extras, that fabulous scullery off the kitchen, the extra bedroom that can, that can double as, as your office as well. You've got that second living area, that could be your theatre room, or where you just go and spend some nice, quiet, relaxing time. Wardrobing and storage to burn, and I haven't even mentioned the 10 by 12 metre garage with such a lot of purposes, such a lot of uses. There's even a lovely fireplace out there where you can entertain and spend very good time. It's a, it's a beautiful property. Lincoln, well, of course, it's just thriving. All right, Stevie, let's let them loose. Opening bid or offer? Encouraging response. <laughs> Buyers, we're here to sell it. Owners designing, building a new home. We're serious in our intent. Start me at a million. You buy it sight unsight, uh, unseen. Well, a million's a vendor bid won't sell it at this level. Sir, at the back, would you say one one for me, perhaps? First call for my owners. I make it very, very clear. Second call at the even million dollars. Third call. Well, Stevie, I'm going to advance a million and fifty. I hold it at this level at one million and fifty thousand dollars. First call for my owners at a million and fifty vendor bid. Who's got the one one or stronger? Second call. Buyers on notice, you don't want to go into stage three. I give you warning, Steve has got people lining up afterwards in conditional situations. The time to beat them is now. Third call in a million and fifty. Steve, I'll take one last vendor bid. I'm going to treat with respect. We know you've got interest above this outside of the room. One one is my last vendor bid. Once called, second call. You surprise me, you disappoint me even. No better bid. One one. Well, Steve, let's treat with respect. If there's no bidders in the room, you're talking with all parties. To parties online, if you do have interest in the property, you need to get on that phone, talk to Stevie, and register that interest to avoid the multi-offer. We're not going to sell it today at 1.2. Okay, there's the instruction. So I put it back in your hands at the 1 million two. Let's talk to all parties. And uh, to Lynn and Nicholas, good luck and thanks for the opportunity. Passed at 1.2. Couldn't eat with stuff. No, no, that's right. Twists. We are going to Watermill Boulevard in the heart of Six Mill Country Club, territory in, in Northwood, number 14 Watermill Boulevard, super address isn't it? Um, I would say it's the spine of Northwood would be my, would my impression. Geoffrey Twiss, he's got a lot of spine himself, he's a tremendous agent, he's a busy boy and uh, got a variety of business around the city so um, we're appreci appreciative of the work that's been done by our vendors, we'll touch on that of course. I would say the best presented home in Northwood at the moment. Would that be over, overstating it? I don't think, Cecile, it wouldn't be. It's a freehold estate that you bid for and buy. Sits on 452 square metres, more or less. There isn't any change to the legal description. The settlement date is convenient, set down for the, for the 5th of April. You know the fridge stays with the property. It's perfect for that spot there in uh, the newly modified kitchen, of course. So uh, I would call that a bonus chattel every day of the week. And you know that you're always going to find good quality homes in the Sticks Mill Country Club area and Watermill Boulevard. 
You just go down house by house, real quality. Everybody looks after their home beautifully. This is a lovely home. It's got stunning street appeal, but it's just been taken to the next level. It's had a lovely little birthday and an excellent makeover. And you've seen the newly sown grass at the front. It's got established gardens, quite a botanic entry to the home. Makes a wonderful first impression. You can tell the home's been fully painted. The flooring's been redone. But the expensive parts have been done as well. Both bathrooms and kitchen have been fit out again. So they're fresh and ready to go. Lovely appliances in the kitchen too. They're high quality. Uh, lovely north facing living. You've got indoor outdoor flow. Excellent courtyard situation. If it's a gin and tonic that you like, then the lemon tree is absolutely burgeoning. In fact, you've got a couple of those. Absolutely laden. Um, very much easy to look, look after, which I think you'll appreciate it. The gardens, be, uh, the, sorry, the garage is absolutely pristine, internal access double, three bedroom, two bathroom situation, excellent master. Like I say, the ensuite's had its treatment. Permanent material, light, white and bright, um, in the heart of the area. And I hope you appreciate what's on offer down at the Country Club. It's really fantastic, be it fitness, leisure, or socialisation, then, uh, then you're right in business there. It's a nice, a nice part of a thing to be, to be part of, I should say. Jeffrey, we'll get it underway. What are, we, what are we thinking in terms of value to you good folk out there? See if we can get you into it, moving into Watermill Boulevard. 800, Malcolm Cameron got the job today. I think I recognise your clients too. Flanked by Kay as well, that's good. At 800,000, have we got some competition for Malcolm Cameron's bidder? What are we saying? Sir, I'm wondering if you're here to have a go at Watermill Boulevard. Just at 800 at the moment, calling for a 20 here. First chance, second call, and third call. Malcolm, I think you're my only bidder. No vendor bids, would you prefer just to have that bid in, in private? You know how it works. We'll come and, we'll come and offer your, your good people the opportunity. Let's see if the Red Devils can get home. Pause the auction there. Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch off all the rules? And imagine a utopia. I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out. 
place. We're still just working on, on that one at um, Woodmore Boulevard, not too far away from a conclusion. It enables me to, um, to bring forward the auction at 12 Aberdeer Street, Horswell. Stevie Golding, uh, much heralded agent from the Hornby office, of course, um, has done a lot of business in the area and continues to do so. Stevie, you've got a few auctions on the go at the moment, sir, so that's good to see. Um, it's uh, good to represent Nick and Lou. If you're tuning in, thanks for the opportunity. Um, I think you're all the way down in Otago at the moment, so thanks for the chance to sell what I think is uh, a very smart and striking home that's going to suit your lifestyle in the heart of Horswell. It's 12 Aberdeer Street, and it is a freehold uh, going, going proposition as well, which is the best tenure, of course, isn't it, Sonia? 296 squares, lot 144, deposit plan 464210. Settlement seat is simple. Third of April was the date that it changes hands this year, so, so just a few weeks and you can move on in. And man, is it ready for you to move on. It's a funky urban home, this one too. I think it looks after itself, it'll look after you as well, it has been of great use to our sellers. They've enjoyed it and how easy it is to live here, how comfortable it is. How, how fantastic it's been to entertain here. I would say beware the courtyard, it's a real sun trap and one of their friends got caught out one day without his cap on, but it just streams in there. And I think when both those sets of stackers are opened up that connect the kitchen with the lounge, with the dining and out to the courtyard, you've got a, got a real social area as well. Winter months, close those doors up, it's cosy and warm. In fact, that lounge opens out on both sides, out to the lawn as well, which is good. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Love the vertical timber cladding. That just gives it an extra bit of style, the dual pavilion style, mono pitch inside. Um, meticulously looked after hedges, but that's all you really have to look after because it is easy care. You're close to the amenities, you've got internal access garaging, but it's got that real cool, crisp, contemporary decor, which just means that it will be a pleasure for you to entertain. Okay, Stevie, me boy, we'll ask now for an opening bid. Let's just see if we've got an opening salvo that someone might like to dictate terms and give us that bid to start. Abadir, Sonia, I know you've been working with buyers in the area and we're only asking for an easy six to start just for the cricket fan might say six hundred okay well if your silence is strategic I don't mind vendor bidding at that level because it would never change hands at that level so I ask for 20 on from here it's six hundred thousand dollars easy care but quite secluded very private and very very sunny it's proven styly looking home isn't it Three bedroom, two bathroom, internal access garage. First call at six. Second call, third at six. Well, that's a shake of the head. That's not what I see, sir. Any advance at that figure? You're looking at me intently. Stevie, they're not going to put their hand up for me. I think we should just go to that next stage. I've just got that, that Parson figure of 680. I mean, I, that, that's below the value, so, so value's got to be north of that. I think Stevie Golding's the man to talk to. Uh, 680 is a final vendor, but definitely not selling at that level. I'll return this to Rachel. We carry on working, Stevie. And um, into that next stage, conditional buyers get your chance. <coughs>
just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Shawlan's beautiful titivations and enhancements. I've uh, been working with Malcolm Cameron's buyers and sellers not so long ago, but hey, you've done a tremendous effort and done well. Just the final amount you bid and to buy. Call it out. 927,000. And Chloe, I believe you've got the authority to say on the market and selling. That's great news. Cecile, thank you. Adrian, outstanding. And Jeffrey Twist, good man. Thanks, Malcolm and Kate. Well done, you guys. 927,000 gone and sold. Yes, well done. Very, very good. Thank you very much, Jess. Uh, Jeremy, Rachel, of course, for a lovely, lovely auction session.